Hello, my name is Azmi Sharom, and this is my show, Brave New World. This week, I'll be speaking about the presidential elections in the United States. This week, I'll be speaking about the latest elections in the United States. I don't want to, but I suppose when the most powerful country in the world gets a new leader, we have to talk about it. The president-elect, Donald Trump, oh my god, what a grotesque creature. A gentle, grabbing, racist bigot whose answer to terrorism is to kill the family of the terrorists. What kind of due process do you think that implies? Uh, is there going to be a special family terrorist court to determine who is the family of the terrorists? Or are they just going to shoot anyone? <laughs> anyway, I suppose, you know, we have to respect what the American people wanted and this is what they chose. Although I've been told that um, it's also a protest vote. There's some people who chose Trump because they hated Hillary and, and, and what she stood for. But I mean, if you want to protest, why don't you vote for the Green Party? That candidate seemed very nice and they seem to have decent policies. Why do you have to vote for a buffoon? I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. Oh well, whatever. So how does this affect us over here, you know, so far away? I think the first and most obvious thing would be the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. That's probably dead in the water. That was the Obama thing. Trump doesn't like it. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of people here don't like it either, you know, especially the smaller countries because we feel that the sovereignty of the smaller partners will be taken away and this um, TPPA um, will probably give way too much power to the big business, so it might not be a bad thing. i tell you what worries me though, it's ISIS. I bet those guys are jumping around in their robes with their beards bristling with happiness because Trump it's a fantastic recruiter. Look, it won't take much to provoke him to overreact by, you know, not just attacking Muslims outside his country, but also within his country. Because Trump is like a petulant, spoiled three-year-old. You know, you just poke him a little bit and he'll be screaming and shouting, right? And when he does that, voila, he proves the point that he is the great Satan, that he is the enemy of Muslims all over the world. And ISIS will be recruiting even more nutcases. Right, so that is very worrying as well. But at the end of the day, right, will it make much of a difference? I mean, under more palatable uh, presidents, even under Obama, you know, American foreign policy has killed millions of people. You know, is he going to be worse than that? Why, why is he so different? Well, I, I tell you why. Because Trump is a sign of the times, and it is a bad sign of the times. <laughs> it's not just in America, yeah? We see his kind of politician in Britain with Farage, in France with Le Pen, Wilders in Holland, Closer to home, we have Duterte in the Philippines. This kind of, well, almost fascist type politician. They come up when people are desperate, when there's economic uncertainty and, and fear. Let's not forget that Hitler and the Nazi party were elected into power. So what's left for the rest of us? Well, for those of us who find that these kinds of politics is vile, well, we have to engage. We have to engage the people who voted for these, for, for these chaps. And we have to engage intelligently and convincingly to show that there is another way. My house. My house. My house. My house. My house. My house. Okay, good. Now, we don't really have a Trumpy kind of person here right now, but we still have to stand up for principles of democracy and our rights. Uh, this weekend, for example, there's going to be a big rally. Maybe that should be something that we should be thinking about. Hey, thanks for watching. We'd like to hear what you think about the show and what I said. So please leave your comments on YouTube and Facebook. Appreciate it. <laughs>